Hello and welcome to MyPurpleLime.com's first tutorial video. Today we'll be showing you how to upload your website to your cPanel account using the built-in FTP client in iWeb. So the first thing to get a site online is you're going to have to go to the web hosting company. Here we're at MyPurpleLime.com. For a general personal plan, you should probably just go with the bronze. We'll go to order now. You can either pick to pay bi-monthly or one year, two year, three year, you get a discount of five, then 10% and so on the longer you sign up. So we'll go to order now. Okay, you can either type in a domain name you wish to register if you want a new website and it will automatically check to see if it's available or you can have Purple Lime transfer your domain over from another carrier or you can manually update your name servers yourself. So we'll go with your domain, click to continue and that domain is available so you can pick to order for one, two, or three years. We'll go with one. Alright, so we're gonna pick monthly price. We'll only sign up for one year for this tutorial. Update cart. And then go to checkout and fill out all the information. There's also a promotional code that will be included later with our other tutorials with if you sign up, you're going to get a 10% discount on all prices on this website. All right, and you go down and fill out all the required information here and complete your order. Now, we'll go to iWeb and FTP server. This is the website that we're going to want to be putting up here. Alright, so this is what we want everyone to see when going to our domain. So, we have FTP server, you're going to type in the site name without www. Contact email, whichever email you wish the website to contact you at if there's any problems. The server address, again, is just going to be your domain. The username and password will both be automatically generated with MyPurpleLime.com, so you will receive those in an email. And for the directory path, for others to see your website online, it has to be slash public underscore HTML. That will allow everyone who types in your domain to view your website online. Now you're going to test the connection, leave the protocol at FTP and the port alone. That should be automatically done. And here you type in your full URL with HTTP and www. Then you can update your Facebook if you wish, though it's not required. Then you go down to the bottom left corner and click Publish Site. After that, you will have a fully functional website online. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you at another time.